Hey everyone, welcome to Heavy Metal. Today we're going to be revisiting that paper towel test. Uh, after we've done the last one, it just didn't blow up the way that I thought it would. Uh, I read, of course, I respond to every comment. And the biggest suggestion was I actually put the little target inside of the paper towels. Uh, among other suggestions, which I'm not going to soak them in gas or anything like that. I want this to just happen. So, what I got is another one of the uh, Firebird. These are them biodegradable detonating targets. These things are cool. And I grabbed a roll of paper towels. And I took the cardboard tube out. And as you see, I put one of the targets on the inside. I think we'll get something pretty cool out of this if I can hit it. Now on this one, I grabbed the uh, little MK4 here, uh, 22 long rifle. Got a uh, green dot on it. So hopefully I won't use up a million dollars worth of ammo trying to hit this thing. But I mean, y'all put down in the comments what you think. I mean, that target's down in there about that deep. The end's sort of mashed up. And it got a rubber band on the bottom of it. And I'm going to lay it out just like so and shoot it. I'm really hoping that we can uh, get some good paper towel explosion and maybe get a little fire out of it. But like I say, y'all throw down in the comments what you think. Let me get this set up and the other cameras rolling and we'll make this shot. Alright, we've got everything set up. Man, I hope I hit this first try. Alright, like I say, y'all throw down in the comments what you think is going to happen. I think either way it goes, it's going to be cool. Alright. Keep your fingers crossed, I hit this on the first try. Well, hey, at least I hit it. Whew. Well, that stuff stinks. Yeah. Well, let's run up there and check it out. Well, guys, I imagine the slow-mo looked cool on that, but didn't get the big uh, explosion and fire that I wanted. I mean, it burnt some down on the inside, but that's about it. Uh, I'll tell you what. Let's try this one more time. But this time, let's put two of them in there. I just, I really don't want to soak this in any gas or anything like that. It's, uh, I mean, it's wet out here, yeah, but I don't know if it's dry enough to have a major fire or an explosion, and I don't need that headache on my hands. Let's see if we can get two of these in here fairly deep. Hopefully two of them will pop. And I can get lucky and hit it again. There we go. They're down to about right here. So let me uh, let me get this set up. Let's try this one more time with two of them in there. And I'm sure we're going to get a cool slow-mo out of it. Alright. Got everything set back up. Let's see how much difference two of them will make. Don't miss. Let's try it again. All right, now, don't miss.
that was weird. It was sort of, uh, by my view, it looked like a delayed reaction. Well, let me grab that roll of paper towels. Hey, we got fire. Let me grab the camera and go up there. I think we got something this time with two of them. Well, all right, guys, we definitely got smoke coming from it. Yeah, I'm on the back side of it. Wow, look how it just blowed that hole out in there. Well, that's pretty neat. Yeah, we definitely got fire on that one that time. Well, it took two of them to get it there. But, I mean, I didn't get the big explosion I wanted. But at least we got some cool slow-mo and we got it to catch on fire. So that's cool. Well, let me grab some water and put this out right quick. And there you have it. And yes, I did get that fire put out really well. I soaked it, soaked it. So ain't no chance of it flaming back up. But the first shot was pretty cool, like I say, the slow-mo, always fun to watch. But I think that second shot was better, even though, like I say, from my perspective, it seemed like there was just a little millisecond of delay there from the time I shot. And it seemed like it just, I thought I missed. Because it just went down, next thing you know, poof. Huh, odd things do happen, that's for sure. Well, guys, I hope y'all enjoyed that. I enjoyed shooting it. I think putting two of them in there was a trick to get us a little bit of poof and get them things to catch on fire. Well, if y'all would, throw me down some comments, uh, questions, suggestions, always appreciated. If you're able, hit us up on Patreon, and please like, share, and subscribe. Again, appreciate everything. Until the next one, I hope that everyone has a fantastic day.